Tennessee, after pocketing $6,000 from their first run, Mark and Digger pay back a favor to one of their longtime mentors. I hope maybe we can fix up something for JB. Yeah, we can get it fixed up. Now in his 80s, old-timer J.B. Raider spent decades making outlaws shine with Popcorn Sutton. Now he needs a custom burner for a one-off run of Apple Moonshine. J.B.'s taking an order for Honeycrisp Moonshine, but he's going to have some solid apples in this run. And uh, after they soak up for a while, they sink to the bottom where they get to the flame, and the flame's going to scorch them on that thin bottom copper. You got it, Toyota. I got her, boy. Yeah, you got her? I got her, boy. I got all the faith in the world in you, puss. Might be ill-founded. In the hills of Cock County, Tennessee, Mark and Digger are delivering the tried and tested hoop burner to JB and his partner, Kelly, so they can modify their still for a run of Honeycrisp Apple Shine. Here's your new burner. Holy Me and Digger, we went and fetched the hoop burner, and this will be its maiden run. If we can help them get a successful run and prove the hoop burner, you know, bully for us. What you'll have to do, yeah. we'll lay it up on them block. Right. And get her up about this high, and you're out of the solids. And once this gets to getting hot to where it's boiling off the sides, it's going to roll, and it's going to stir your solids up. You know, we learned a long, long time ago that the key to getting flavor into your whiskey is whatever you use for your fermentation, grain or fruit, it's got to stay in there. The way it stands right now, there's probably six, eight inches of solids in the bottom of this pot. The hoop burner is 12, 14 inches above the bottom, so there's plenty enough room for these flames to lick the side of the steel and heat it up and uh, not scorch anything at all. I believe we're about right. Even spaced all the way around. How much space you got between you over there? Three fingers? Yeah, but now my fingers ain't fat like yours. <laughs> you go to hell. <laughs> We're ready to cap her off then, fellas. And then we'll. You know, I'm a little bit nervous, but I ain't gonna let on in front of them. You ready? Kelly, you might want to stay back. JB, hide tuck your whiskers in. Yep. If it does work, we're golden. If it don't work, you know, we're just four turds sitting here with grunt liquor. Yeah, she's working. Blue flame, baby. That's what you want. Jeez. There's some heat coming out of that bad boy. Never up. Yeah, you better paste up. It's gonna be too hot soon to do it. Oh, the mighty. I send you the hair on my arms. That's what we want. Yeah, yeah. We want liquor coming out. It's very, very hot. It's putting out a lot of blue flame. It's gonna cook this pot of mash. But, you know, we'll see how it turns out. Time will tell. You reckon I stand here looking at it to make it come faster, JB? Sometimes it does. That, well, that now what do you say? <laughs> oh, look at there. I'm throwing his heads out. Isn't that better? It's way too hot to tell much about yet. I believe it's got down there where you can stand it, JB. You do the honors. Yeah. What's the verdict? That's honey apple crisp, all right. It's fine. That is fine, fine. Damn right. It's JB, I believe you nailed one of the best apple liquors it's ever been. Wow. I want to try some. This is pretty good stuff. I think JB was spot on keeping the, the chunks of apple in the mash. By keeping those chunks in there, we've got a special flavor here that I don't think anybody else can match. Kelly looked like he was about to give a soliloquy. He drank that liquor and he looked far away. I saw myself in a far away place. <laughs> and that's mission accomplished. They can run the rest of this liquor and he's got enough satisfied customers. But we took enough time building this. We've got Daniel waiting on liquor. Now we need to go get running. Really, if you need any more help, call somebody else. Oh, no. <laughs> That's petered out. It's done. Well, Daniel ought to be getting here.
Across county lines, Mark and Digger are waiting at their still site to offload another shipment to their new bootlegger. That ham was coming? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yonder he comes. We're just now finishing up uh, another successful run of the Popcorn Sutton Legacy Liquor. We trust Daniel to be at the still site, so he's going to come pick it up here and bootleg it. <laughs> All right, rascal is. What's going on, fellas? What are you doing, Slim Shady? Finding my way to this place. If they trust me good enough to let me know where they're making liquor and see their set up and see where they're making it, I mean, it's obvious that they really trust me. I tell you what, this really speaks volume to you guys. Most people won't invite a man to their still site. Back when we were younger, Digger and myself, first time that we ever got taken to Popcorn Sutton's still site, we knew that he trusted us. I hope that we have that same effect on Daniel. I'll tell you what we've got here, between 55 and 58 gallons. You think you have any trouble moving this? Well, I'll be honest with you. When you say you've got Popcorn Sutton Legacy liquor, people want it. But I'm hurting Mike's sales a hell of a lot. And you know, after doing me wrong like that, I believe pretty dang well that if, if I keep this up, I can starve him out. And that suits me just fine. There's no doubt that Daniel's got an ax to grind with, with Mike. Everybody that Daniel sells a little dose of our liquor to, that's a sale that Mike ain't gonna make. The deal was that you wouldn't sell nothing in Sevier County. You ain't selling in Sevier County. That's my liquor. When you leave here with this liquor, it ain't our liquor no more. It's your liquor. That's right. Loopholes have been around for years. We don't think that we're doing anything wrong. We made a commitment, and we gave our word that we would not be selling any liquor in Sevier County, and we're not. Let's, uh, let's move these trucks around and get that loaded, boys. Let's play musical <laughs> trucks. <laughs> you know, Daniel right now, he's serving us well as bootlegger, keeping the liquor moving. That way we don't have any around that we can be caught with. You know, it wasn't in our business plan to spread out in Sevier County, but opportunities here and a good businessman will seize every good opportunity. Hell, I can't get it turned that way. It's bumping up again. These things down the damn hole. <laughs> How we going? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I thought if we could tip the top up on it, and then we could shove it if we had Let's to. Get Which way you want it? Hell, ain't no hand hope. Turn it over. All right, here we go. Damn. Go. <laughs> Man, whoa, look at that. Watch out. Watch out. Get your hand. <laughs> you know, it's we're all old. Daniel's just getting over a back injury. Hell, stand back, boys. I'll just get it by myself. <laughs> Maybe we should have had four barrels and filled them half full each. <laughs> That'll work right there. That's that is. Let's tie her in. 